Now we continue to talk about the medium at Endor, who was the one who got Samuel to speak to Saul. Now, we've gone through two Bibles already to have something to say about that. <coughs> and now we're going to go to the Dake Annotated Reference Bible. Now, in this Bible, as you know, there are many notes. So I will be dealing with some of these notes with you in the near future. First, I want to say that uh, Dake uh, does take what comes to him as it is and doesn't try to change anything. He just makes what it is uh, something that he can deal with in the proper way. So what you find here in his notes in this section many notes and it's in particular he's concerned with all of this now the um answer of the familiar spirit now medium he doesn't call a medium he calls it a familiar spirit and then he has a place where you can go and look for that uh term uh, so we will look at that eventually, but uh, what we will do here uh, is look at some of his notes. Uh, so it says here now, let's see, this is what Saul did according to what Dake has to say. Saul not only broke the law by seeking a witch, he calls now her a witch, to inquire of a familiar spirit, but he broke it again when he vowed to protect the witch. Saul wanted to contact Samuel, who had anointed him king, given him advice on several occasions, and refused to advise him during his last years. Samuel had been dead now for at least two years since God would not answer him by ordinary means, Saul hoped in vain to get an answer through a demon who initiated Saul. Now he calls that several things. You know, he calls it demon and so forth and a witch. Now, this is what it says. Another note here. The woman did not see Samuel at all but a familiar spirit that imitated him. Now, you see that? So that word familiar spirit, one can look up in the long uh, concordance in here, and you'll find many references to it. But it is a spirit that can be used by others for whatever you want it to do. Now, uh, here is another couple of comments I'll read you. The woman learned that Saul was, was by the familiar spirit who possessed her. The woman learned who Saul was by the familiar spirit that possessed her. Uh, now, Saul perceived, understood by the woman's description, but he did not see with his eyes, with this familiar spirit impersonating Samuel, in form, knowledge, and prophecy. Now, several times we read that the Lord departed from Saul, but by proving that such a possibility of any individual who, like Saul, got into sin and dishonesty. Now, this is very interesting what comes next. Now, don't forget, you see all the terms that Dake is using. Now, he's trying to be as accurate as possible with all of these terms. And um, so, the next section, now don't forget, we have been asking particularly the question about if this woman who is uh, medium, by the way, this will, will be called medium three when we get done with it. Uh, was against the law in Israel, was not able to do these things. But according to what we read here, it was a familiar spirit who got Samuel back. 
Now, but let me read this note, which you will find rather interesting because this contradicts much. Listen to this. Not only did the Lord depart from Samuel and take the Holy Spirit from him, but he became an enemy of Saul and cut him off for his sins. In fact, in such facts uh, were stated by the demon only, if such facts were dis, uh, stated by the demon only, we might question their truthfulness. But since they are recorded in a number of times by inspiration, as well as being mentioned by a demon, then they must be accepted as truth. Now listen, here's his analysis of that, that it, in fact what was said by Samuel to Saul was actually the truth. Now, if it was, what does Dake make of that? Here's what he says. Fallen angels, demons, and wicked men can and will tell the truth regarding some things. It is the lies they tell which must be rejected and not the truth they may utter along with lies. So you see there, what Dake makes of it is that these entities, which he calls fallen angels, demons, and wicked men, can tell the truth at times. And then we can, therefore Dake is assuming we can accept that, but not their lies. So they are liars. So I think it's shown by Dake in his annotated reference Bible there that the answer to the question in this rather strange section of First Samuel is that the source of this may have been something that is not acceptable in normal terms. But in this case, Dake makes the point that the truth is the indicator of what one can judge from. And if the truth comes from somewhere you don't expect it, you might have to accept that part of what you don't expect as the truth. And other parts of it you don't accept. So. There you have three different Bibles talk about this medium. And you get an idea of why this particular part of 1 Samuel is so difficult to deal with. And uh, what we find here is that it seems to me that there are entities that are capable of bringing those from the dead at a particular time in a particular place for a particular reason. And that it has happened. And I'm sure... It is something that will continue to happen. We hell, all enjoyed these difficult lessons, but they are something to learn from, and I enjoy presenting them because I enjoy everything that's mysterious. <laughs>